everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct here with another tutorial video. Today, I'm going to show you how to find a compatible battery charger if you need to buy a replacement. We carry battery chargers on our website. If you go to the main menu at the top of our page, click on parts and accessories, and then on batteries and chargers from the drop down menu, and you'll see an option to go through all of our different battery chargers. They are well laid out there and easy to find. The only thing you need to know is basically what the chemistry of your batteries are for your scooter. They could be lithium or traditional sealed lead acid. Typically, most of the mobility scooters come with two 12 volt lead acid batteries or sealed lead acid batteries, which is abbreviated with SLA. The ones that do require SLA batteries require two 12 volts again, and they work with universal grade XLR chargers for the most part. For example, all of the Pride scooters like this one, the travel friendly ones, well, most of them, I think there's one exception. This is a zero turn eight by Pride Mobility. It's very similar to a GoGo and it works with two 12 volt sealed lead acid batteries. Now there's a charging port right here at the uh, right side of the tiller handlebar assembly and there's a secondary charging port right on the battery box itself. If you lift up this flap, you'll see another charging port, a fuse, and a circuit breaker reset button. So to charge this, you would either put the battery charger connection right there or right here. Now, we have a lot of chargers, but these are the universal ones that we carry. And they say right there on the box, 24 volts, because again, these scooters use two 12 volt batteries to drive the 24 volts brushless motor. So with those two 12 volt batteries, it gives you a 24 volt charge. And this is what they look like. Now, the only thing you need to know when purchasing a replacement battery charger is what the scooter is rated for in terms of the amps. So the battery charger has a rating or a specification, and it tells you what the amp should be or the amps should be for your charger when you're buying a replacement. And in this case, we have a two amp battery charger, a five amp battery charger. We also carry 3.5 amps, eight amps, and various other types of chargers. Now, some of the scooters that we carry are gonna have specific chargers, mainly the lithium battery scooters not like this one, but the very lightweight, travel-friendly scooters like this iRide, which I'll pull out. This iRide has a lithium battery, and it's a very specific type of charging port that you would plug right there. It's not an XLR cable. In this case, you're using a very specific type of charging connector and a very specific charger. So for all lithium batteries, you always want to buy the OEM original factory made charger. If it's a sealed lead acid driven mobility scooter like this Jazzy here or a GoGo -Go that requires traditional 12 volt lead acid batteries, you can get a generic battery charger and basically go right to our section on our website that says sealed lead acid battery chargers and find the one that has the right amp hours. This is a universal charger, which actually comes with this product, brand new, when you order it. And it's very simple to use. One cable, you plug into the wall. The other cable, like we showed you, this barrel connector with three pins, you just line up the three pins. There's a little arrow on the barrel connector. As long as that barrel is facing up, it goes right in. And the other side you plug into the wall. There's going to be a red light here indicating that it's on. And this light will be red until it's done charging. Once it's fully charged, it turns green. Inside of these battery chargers, there is a cooling system, a little fan that keeps cooling the charger down while it's plugged in. We don't recommend leaving your charger plugged in all the time because that fan will eventually go bad and you'll have to buy a new charger which might be the reason why you're watching this video. So if you're not sure what type of charger this scooter needs, I recommend going to our product page for this model. Simply find the product on our website, 
and look for the specification sheet in the download section at the bottom of the description, which I'll show you how to access in just a moment. To find a specification sheet, also known as a sales brochure, for the product that you own, simply go to our website, mobilitydirect.com, and then begin to search for your product. You can use the main menu to find your power wheelchair or mobility scooter. I recommend going to the search by brand section, whether you have a mobility scooter or a power wheelchair. As you can see from the drop down at the bottom of each drop down, there's a search by brand link. So if you know the make and the model, you can start by searching for the brand, which is the make, in which case I'm going to use an example for pride mobility. And let's assume that we have a Victory Sport LX mobility scooter. This is the one that shows up here at the top for this example to keep it simple. And I'm just going to click here on the title or you can click on the main image to load up this product. On every product page for a mobility scooter or a power wheelchair on our website, you'll be able to find the sales brochure in the description section, which is below the picture gallery. Make sure that the description tab is selected. You can either go to the specifications to see the actual battery specifications right away, in this case, this mobility scooter has two 12 volt, 50 amp hour batteries, and it's going to require a charger that's going to be able to handle that. So a 5 amp XLR charger in this case. Usually, the higher the capacity, in this case, 50 amp hours is a pretty large capacity battery. It's going to take higher amperage. For a smaller mobility scooter, it would probably take a 2 amp charger. But if we go back to the description, instead of specifications, as mentioned earlier, at the very bottom of the description, there's always going to be links to download resourceful documents such as the product brochure. So here you can see it says click here to download the Pride Victory LX scooter product brochure. And if you click on that, it's going to open up that sales brochure. You can print this and keep it handy. It has all of the important specifications about your product, including what type of battery charger is required. Just to give you one other example, if you want to search for your product using the search bar at the top of the screen, you can also do so by typing in a short keyword such as Victory or Victory LX, and it should bring up your product that way as well. Again, just click on the image link or the title, and it will open up the product page where you will find the description, and at the bottom of that description is where you're going to see the links to download or view the product brochure. Again, you can also go to the specs tab to see that the battery charger specification is listed there as well. Once you have this printout available, you can go to the battery charger section and see that it requires an offboard 3.5 amp battery charger. Now this uses two 22 amp hour lead acid batteries, so you would be able to use a universal 24 volt, 3.5 amp hour battery charger. It's important that you verify that the charger you're getting is exactly what this scooter calls for in the specification sheet. So if it says 3.5 amp hour, go to our website and search for a 3.5 amp hour XLR charger. This is a 5 amp XLR charger. This is too powerful. If you plug this charger into this scooter, it could damage the batteries. If you use a 2 amp hour battery charger on this scooter, it'll work because it's not overpowered. However, it will take a lot longer to charge your batteries. Using a 3.5 amp hour is what it's rated for. This is going to charge it with slightly less amps and it's going to take much longer to charge. All right, now that we know how to get a suitable replacement charger for a universal type of setup, like the Go-Go's that come with these universal chargers, I want to explain that you can also buy the OEM charger for certain models, which are a little bit higher quality. For example, this one here is for an Afikim mobility scooter, which is a top of the line outdoor recreational mobility scooter that goes on all kinds of terrain. This battery charger has a couple of different lights on it, which if you zoom in here, you can see it actually will light up showing you that the battery is 30% charged, 50% charged, 70, 85, and 100% charged. So it's a pretty nice little readout here. It's a little bit fancier, really nice cooling system on it. It has vents everywhere to cool it down. This is a really high quality charger compared to a universal. 
And it's made for a high quality mobility scooter like this Apicam, which I'm going to show you. So this scooter right here is pretty much the top of the line mobility scooter for someone that needs something that can go off road. It's got huge tires, comes with 75 amp hour batteries. They're huge, like a car battery. And this is the charger for it. So if you have a scooter like this, you may want to stick with an original factory charger as opposed to the universal ones because they're just higher quality and you want to stick with high quality chargers for a high quality machine like this. Now, again, if you're not sure what kind of charger it takes, I have a copy of the sales brochure, which is available on our website. So if you have the Afikim S4, like what's shown behind us, just go to our website, find the Af scooter Afikim S4, and look for the brochure link. In the tab where it shows the specifications, you're gonna see that it has a charger type specification here towards the bottom. It says eight amp hours. So again, this uses a 24 volt motor brushless. That means it requires two 12 volt sealed lead acid batteries and an eight amp charger, which is what I just showed you right here. This is an eight amp charger. Now, we do also carry the universal eight amp chargers. This is the five amp, it's just, the eight amp's just a little bit bigger. It's gonna be more affordable. So you have options. And that's really what I wanted to show you today was number one, how to understand what kind of chargers there are out there, how to locate a replacement charger on our website by finding the spec sheet or sales brochure. And I'm gonna show you again on the website how that's done. I think after you've pretty much watched this video and gone through our website, found your product, opened up the spec sheet, it's gonna be really easy to buy a replacement charger. Again, they're all listed for sale on our website. If you go to the top of the website, click on accessories and parts, and then from the sub menu, click on batteries and chargers, and it'll show you all of the different links for sealed lead acid batteries, lithium batteries, as well as battery chargers, and battery boxes, which are the cases that the batteries are hidden in for go-go scooters like this. Inside of this case, which is removable with a handle, there's two 12 volt batteries in there. With all the lithium battery uh, powered scooters, it only requires one battery and a very specific type of charger for example, the top selling Transformer, which is 2019, 2020, and 2021's top selling folding mobility scooter, has a lithium battery. This lithium battery is a single battery, doesn't take two, just one, but it has a very specific charger that you would need to buy to charge this battery. You don't have the option to buy a universal charger when you get a lithium powered mobility scooter such as the Transformer or the iRide you want to get very specific, original, manufactured chargers for all lithium-powered mobility scooters. To find a replacement battery charger on our website, simply go to mobilitydirect.com, and once the page loads, you're going to want to click on Accessories and Parts and allow the drop-down to open up so you can click on Batteries and Chargers from the main navigation. Once that page loads, you'll see a subcategory image link that represents the battery chargers subcategory page. You'll want to go ahead and click on that image or the link that says view all. And that will take you to the battery chargers page. Here we have all of the universal chargers, including chargers that are made specifically for certain models, such as the iRide, which we were just discussing. You can purchase that product on our website and it is the OEM charger made specifically for the iRide. So, now that we've gone through all these scenarios, I want to recap. Number one, the first thing you need to identify is if your scooter uses lithium batteries or traditional sealed lead acid batteries. Once you know that, you can go to our website or the manufacturer website to find the specification sheet for your product. In the specification sheet, it will tell you exactly what the amps need to be for your charger, or if it's a lithium battery, it's going to tell you exactly the volts and the amps. If it's a sealed lead acid, it's always gonna be 24 volts, unless it's a bigger heavy duty scooter. Some of them require 36 or 48 volts. And always check the spec sheet. It will always tell you in the manufacturer spec sheet what kind of charger to get. And if you have any problems or you're confused, have any questions, we have a department dedicated towards helping you find compatible parts and accessories, including batteries, chargers, and more. Thank you for watching. 
If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get notified when new videos come out just like this one. Thank you again for watching. I'm Sergio. Have a great day.